This is Anfisa from Retina Coach and in this video I will talk about retinal reattachment techniques during vitrectomy for egmatogenous retinal detachment. The first technique is fluid air exchange and simultaneous drainage of subretinal fluid through the retinal break without perfluorocarbon placement. This technique is suitable for peripheral retinal detachment where a relatively small amount of subretinal fluid is present. The fluid needle is kept over the break and subretinal fluid continuously removed as the eye fills with air. The eye rotation toward the break facilitates maximal fluid drainage by creating a gravity-induced fluid shifting. The reflex between air surface and fluid changes as the fluid needle tip enters the fluid meniscus. This can be used to assess whether there is remaining fluid still present in the vitreous cavity. As I mentioned before, fluid air exchange without perfluorocarbon is quite a good choice for retinal reattachment in case of small peripheral detachment but this technique is less suitable in the case of bullous retinal detachment. The reason is that when a large amount of fluid is present, the air pushes the subretinal fluid not only towards the break where it can be drained by fluid needle, but also towards the posterior pole where it may convert a macula on into a macula off retinal detachment, cause foveal ectopia or retinal folds. This technique is also problematic in case of peripheral retinal break and total retinal detachment or detachment running through the fovea. The reason is an inability to drain subretinal fluid over the posterior pole without performing posterior retinotomy or perfluor carbon injection. The second technique to reattach the retina calls sandwich technique. In this case, the eye filled with perfluor carbon to the most posterior retinal break border, like you see in this video. Perfluorocarbon carbon liquid facilitates shifting of subretinal fluid from the posterior pole towards the retinal break. Then fluid air exchange performed while draining the subretinal fluid from the break. Once the retina completely reattached, perfluorocarbon carbon liquid is removed and endolaser laser is done under air. One more technique to reattach the retina that exists but is not shown in this video is filling the eye with perfluorocarbon liquid up to the aura serrata. In contrast to the previous techniques, in this case the laser is performed under perfluorocarbon liquid, which facilitates visualization of the retina. Before injecting the perfluorocarbon, essential to remove any traction over the retinal break that can resist retinal flattening. Otherwise, perfluor carbon can migrate to the subretinal space. We invite you to visit our retinacoach.net website and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on all our latest videos. Thank you for attention.